delighted to be joined by Ian Fortune, Barry Drake and Damien Lonigan to talk about the Ball Sports Irish Greyhound Derby. Thanks very much for joining me, lads. We're going to kick things off and go straight into Friday night into Heat 2. So I'm going to look at Jack's solution here. We'll go to you, Damien Lonigan. What's the betting in this heat and who do you fancy? Uh, even money, Jack's solution after his run last week. 5-2, to two, new in Leicester. Um, any prices then we address nine to two um reds are out for the lemon boris uh, you have to fancy jack's solution when you do another 335 sectional up is another thing uh he should he should lead the ones on the inside blue and lester on a big race last time just been worried did he run too well last week would he be able to do it again this week but i think deserving favorite jack's solution even money and Ian, I think uh, New and Leicester done the third fastest sectional uh, to the third, Ben. I think you put up the sectionals the other day. Do you fancy him or are you all for Jack's solution as well? And if New and Leicester wasn't a, an August 16, I would imagine he'd be nearly favourite for this heat. I think Jack's solution is a shocker of a draw. Uh, good early speed on his flanks. Both New Lemon Barras and Frankie's Jet could both go up hard. Obviously, Jack's solution did a 3.35 last week. He's going to need to repeat that. And repeating a 3.35... No easy task, even money, not for me. Um, I'd probably favour New and Leicester on the outside, but perhaps at the prices, I might just uh, touch up something like Lemon Boris and Frankie's Jet at bigger prices because I think it's one of those heats, whatever goes around in front, it's going to take some stopping. Maybe at a massive price, uh, Reds are hard for it, could run well from the back because if they are getting in each other's way up front, he might arrive late. But no, Jack Solution, not for me, but it's just one of those heats. If, if I was forced to have a bet, I'd back something at a, a bigger price and maybe hope for a bit of value. What about yourself, Barry Drake? What do you fancy? Yeah, I'd be against um, Jack Solution at even money. I was impressed with him in the final of the project stakes and he ran a cracker last week, but just at the price, um, I'd be prepared to take him on. Um, New and Leicester will go well from the outside, but um, like Ian said here, I could see a bit of a, a turn up here and uh, I'd rather be a layer than a backer. Brilliant. Okay, so that's uh, Jack's solution. A bit of um, option for Lemon Boris and New and Leicester. And who knows, Red Sir Artford, the sixth Ben champion, he could come home with a rattle and grab victory on the line. Let's go to Heat 4. Look, I like a lot of dogs in this race, but Glen Carabao looks the nap of the night. Doesn't he? We'll go to you, Damien. What price is he? I'd say he's short enough. He's a twos on chance. He's probably going to be shorter. Um, you know he's going to be an every accumulator going. Look, he's, he's Pat Buffy's number one chance in the derby. Done everything right the last time. Like he has Glen Garmary and his inside Roxburgh White and his Rockford Mike sorry, and his outside. He should lead the two of them up. Ballydale Valor is a huge run in this dog. Um, I just don't think he'd get it now next week. He's going to be he's going to turn on the back foot to um, Glen Garbale here. He's a five to two chance at heat now, but see Glen Garbale, he's one to two. He's going to go off shorter Saturday night. And he's only what fourteen to one in the outright. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Ian, what do you think, Glen Garbale as well? Yeah, I think he's a very progressive dog. Two, a two to one on, he won't be me. Odds on, look on and all that. But he is the most likely winner. He's definitely a dog going places. We obviously, looking in the early stages of his career, thought he'd be a really strong runner, uh, perhaps one a bit further. But he's developed, last week he showed brilliant early speed, uh, was, was very quick to the third bend. Didn't quite get home like we'd expect, but that will come if he does hit the lids. Obviously, he has no early speed on his flanks. Glen Mary and Rock Burst Mike will both struggle to lay up with him. I do believe Bally Doyle Valor is as fast a dog as there is in the country when it's on fire. And um, Unfortunately, he didn't run great last week and looked a bit out of sorts in his previous start too. He'll need to recapture his best form from the back end of 2019, but he's very much the obvious danger. I, I couldn't fancy the other two, Cushy Rain or Deadly Delago. Glen Bell, I can see why he's two to one on. And after three strides, well, he could be a five to one on chance. But Ali Doyle Valor is certainly a danger. But, you know, on last week's form, there's only going to be one winner. Barry, are you in the Glencar Bale camp as well? Yeah, I think he'll be a lot shorter than one to five after a couple of strides because I think the race will be over. Um, two average starters either side of him and um, I think Bally Doyle Valor has been uh, well below his best in his previous two outings so I think this will be all one way traffic and I think one to two uh, I don't see that lasting too long 